you're supposed to do? Oh, Ben Thorpe is calling me out now. He ought to be worried about going to jail, not calling me out. He ought to be worried about not fucking his daughter. It's total Thorpe death as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, get your clout elsewhere, faggot. I'm just going to feast on your fucking carcass. You're not getting a one-on-one -on -one with me. Pay me, bitch, and then I'll talk to you, faggot. No, sorry. No clout for you. Enjoy jail. Enjoy your wife taking you to the cleaners in court pretty soon. Fuck off and die slow like your daughter. I'm just learning about this. Two divorces and 37 years later. I'm just finding out about this concept. It seems swell. And I like it so far. No, but she's been great. On, in all honesty, I would not be doing as well in my private life, my personal life. Like, show, like I've said before, show life is a performance. Like if you guys think... That, that that's why I always get a kick out of people. Where do you think I got all those clips from when I was dogging you out months ago and you came crawling back like the worm you are? Where do you think I got all those clips from, Ben? Where do you think I got all that information from, Ben? I wonder. Where do you think all those came from? Which I won't reveal a source, but uh... yeah, you're not getting any anything off me, bitch. I can't wait till they lock your ass up, and then I'm gonna do a whole show about it and make money off of it, laughing at you just like I did yesterday. You don't deserve to be in the same online space as me. I squeeze every dollar out of your ass already until you go to jail again. You're not getting any more clips off me. You're not coming back on this show. Unless it's me filming you getting arrested again. Or your daughter getting slapped around like the dumb whore she is. But as far as any one-on-ones with the Rafa Mel, that's not happening. Get your checkbook out, it might happen. But no, call it out all night long. Call it out like Grace calls out for your dick, you sick motherfucker. And I always thought you were a sick motherfucker. So, scream in your little hug box discord all night long. I didn't go in there for a reason. Because it just helps you freaks. And I'm not interested in helping you. I want to see you buried. Literally buried. In the ground. Ended. That's what I want to see. Both you motherfuckers. You and your whore daughter. I want to see you over. That's what I would like to see. But you ain't going to see me. I will just comment on it and laugh at it like I made a whole show about it yesterday. And you'll be going to jail again soon enough. Don't worry. And I'll make sure they know what you're all about in that jail. And I'm not kidding. You better hope they don't put 60 or 90 days on your ass. Because there's a whole public roster who's in that jail. And I'll 100% send in letters to the other inmates in that jail. And I'll 100% put money on their books just to see you get fucked up. And I'm not kidding. So talk all the shit you want. 
But you won't be getting the audience with me. Send a kite. Yep, that's the phrase. And it won't take much. We'll say, no, you fuck your daughter. I won't have to put too much on their books to have you get a couple receipts. And you'll wish it was them raping you. They're going to beat the fuck out of you. And hopefully more, honestly. So you better hope and pray that you somehow do escape with no jail time. Because you fucked with the wrong one. And I know about jail. And commissary is very necessary. And all it's going to take is two or three letters, two or three deposits, not even big ones. And you're going to be in for it. Begging for protective custody. 23 and 1 is what they call it, Ben. That's what you're going to be on. To keep from getting your ass beat every single day. 23 and 1. Who wants to explain what that means? That means 23 hours in a cell. And one hour out. That's what protective custody is. You'll get one hour to walk out around the pod or outside. And the rest of your day will be in that cell. And I believe you're dumb enough to fuck up even between now and your next court hearing. Because clearly, what we have here is a, is a failure to communicate. Because I'm not playing games with you or your whore daughter. I want to see you motherfuckers hurt. I actually want to see you two in pain. And I'm going to see it. I'm already seeing it. So you can clip this out and react to it if you'd like. But you won't be speaking to me. But you may be speaking to some of my new friends. If you get a little time. And if people think I'm playing around, I'm not. Because I despise him and his whore daughter. And I want to see pain. Hurt. Agony. Tragedy. That's the type of shit I want for you, Ben. The daughter fucker. I've humored you and that dumb whore long enough. This ain't a promo, and this ain't me joking. So you better hope you stay out of the fucking slammer. Because I'm not joking about anything I just said. And you won't be back on this show. I don't need you. Never did. Never needed your whore daughter either. Talking about if I'm 11 years in the game, saying this and that. You're not going to be 11 years in the game, Ben. You're a freak. Who the only reason anybody ever has on is because you're known for fucking your daughter. You're a sick, the sickest of the sick freaks. You make even some of these lollycon VTubers. Look legit. That's how sick. I mean, you're fucking your own kid. And you know what? I don't care about that bitch either. As far as I'm concerned, the more mental damage for her, the better. Fuck her straight to hell. I want to see you and her both suffer and i'm sitting here telling you live on air i'm already reaping that reward and it's gonna get greater later because you're just the type of dumb motherfucker that's gonna make sure that happens
And it ain't a promo. It's not hyperbole. Or hyperbole, as your dumb ass would probably say. For damn sure your dumb whore dick sucker would say that. I don't give a fuck about your theology degree and your Catholic school teaching where you probably molested children there, if I had to guess. Probably got your beak wet before you molested your own daughter. If I had to guess. Yeah, that's right. Not 11 years, 10 years in the game. And I'll be here 10 years from now, too. You know where you'll be? Dead. That's where you'll be. Dead. And I'll make sure to always honor your memory here on the kill stream. Gone but not forgotten. You belong not under the jail, but in the ground under the jail. With your fake Catholic LARPing bullshit while you molest your daughter. You ain't gonna do shit to me, motherfucker. You don't even know where I'm at. And you can't even leave your fucking state, much less come down here to Mexico. And by God, I wish you would come down here to Mexico. Because I got some hard-hitting niggas that would like to say a word. And there ain't nobody that likes a child fucker. Except other child fuckers. So, no thanks. On speaking to you. But I'll, I'll speak to some of your cellmates where you're headed and I'm not kidding I'm gonna write the letter and I'm gonna show it on air before I send it and I'm gonna FedEx the motherfucker from Mexico and I'll make sure it's kosher I'm just gonna give the rundown on Ben Thorpe not at give any suggestions not say do anything I'm just going to explain who their new Sully is while you're in there talking big about being a YouTube star, which you're not. You're a fucking freak, circus freak, just like your whore daughter. No talent, no nothing. Just a loud child molester. That's all you are. That's all you ever were. A really loud child molester. And I've entertained that long enough. Much longer than I should have. And those days are over. I want to see you both get what you deserve. And I don't feel sorry for that bitch either. Fuck her. Fuck you. Die slow. There's your content, Ben. Clip that out. Yeah, the clips of him, him using certain words. Well, I can't put it in a letter, but I can quote it. Some people probably think I'm fucking around, but I'm not. I'm not fucking around at all. And I encourage you all to do the same. What's a stamp these days? I don't even know. 50 cents? I'm going to pay FedEx price to make sure it gets there. It's very cheap to make sure he gets a welcoming committee there. Think I'm playing. You better do everything you can to stay up out of there.
but you won't be coming back on here. And I don't want to speak to you. I'll piss on your grave. Literally, not a joke like Riley. I'll literally come up and piss on your fucking grave. And hopefully your dumb bitch daughter is right there next to you. So I can get a two for one. No. Back to regularly <laughs> regularly scheduled programming. People who are like, uh, you, 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 oh, your ex-wife's going to be so mad when she finds out about some of the stuff you've been saying. If you... You idiot. <sighs> yeah, that's all you got to say, Supreme Gentleman. You're right. Dear inmate of, insert penitentiary here, or county jail. Your fellow inmate Ben Thorpe is known to have an irregular relationship with his daughter. In one clip, Ben simulates a blowjob with his own daughter. That's it. And his dumbass, you know he won't deny it. He'll start trying to explain it and go through all the lore and why this isn't true. And it's a setup. And he's already got a fucking elbow through his fucking skull. Because there's two things they don't like on the block. Snitching and pedophiles. They don't really care about anything else. Beating up bitches, fucking, you know, beating kids they don't like. But, you know, you could throw a bitch off a roof. They don't give a fuck about that. But they do care about pedophiles and people fucking their kids and beating their kids and shit like that. Yeah, they don't like that. You could throw a bitch off the Empire State Building. They don't give a fuck. Yes, Sage knows what I'm talking about. He said, I watched a Mexican pedo get his skull broken, and the guards were more pissed they had to do a report than anything else. Yeah. Well, God forbid he ever came down here and went in. <laughs> he might have actually managed to stay alive in the United States. But uh, God forbid. God forbid he came down here and got that. It's not a meme, the Mexican jail thing. It's not a meme. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not a meme at all. God forbid he got put in a jail down here or further south. At least he can beg for protective custody. The jail will have to put him in protective custody if he begged for it because of the liability issues. But protective custody is mental torture. 23 and 1. But you'll you'll have to get that just so you can hang. And you think, oh, I'm 6'3, this and that. There's some big rowdy niggas in there that'll just fuck you up. I mean, you're like 55 years old. 6'3 don't mean a damn thing. They'll cut through you like a knife through a hot knife through butter, Ben. Like, I don't know who you're fooling. Some fucking pedophile Catholic school teacher. You'll get rocked. Probably by like several different people at the same time. So. Yeah, it just makes him a bigger target. Yeah, this guy can't. Dude, there are people in there who have been in, in and out of the system their whole entire lives. And been fighting in jail their whole fucking lives. Ben ain't that guy. And neither am I, by the way. But all that shit he talks, nah. Now that won't go too far on any type of extended stay. One or two days, he can sneak in and out, stay to himself. If you go for an extendo, you're going to find out some things. And you're going to find out how ruthless I really am.
and how much I really do want to see you suffer if it wasn't apparent already. I thought I made it pretty clear yesterday. But I think I, I think I made it very clear just now. And clip it and send it to him. Because I'm not kidding. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to have other people do it too. We might just make a whole show out of it. Even 60 days is too long for you, motherfucker. I'm going to show you just how fucked up I really am, bitch. Everything's fair game. Who said that? Huh. Oh, it was me. Well, I wasn't kidding when I said it. I meant it, and I still mean it. I want to see you suffer. I want to see your daughter suffer. And I'm going to see both of those things. I'm already seeing it down by the riverbank. Take it for what it's worth, Benjamin. Think that I'm giving you this first are you out of your fucking mind do you have a real life or do you just live online the idea that i would come to you first and tell you very privileged information just what and that i wouldn't tell them how can i even segue from that into this i just this guy i'm not even wishing suffering on him i'm just like dumbfounded thanks for watching this clip this is willow Remember to like and subscribe.